what's up guys just got through with the running this morning uh, today was really good so I have changed up a little bit about my diet uh, I was doing fine running and stuff when I was doing carnivore I did it for about a total of about four months and I was okay as long as I was just doing cardio and I was only doing it for about an hour or so. As soon as I decided to implement doing some, you know, go back to strength training and resistance training, I quickly realized that, uh, well, your body just can only do so much without carbohydrates. You know, maybe, I mean, maybe you can say that you can adapt to it and, and train without them, and you can, but what I'm saying is, is you're not going to be able to train to the same level, you know, you're not going to be able to push yourself as hard as you could if you were consuming carbohydrates. So, I realized that uh, when I attempted to, you know, do uh, some training where I would either weight lift, uh, resistance train for about an hour and then run for an hour or so, or, uh, and I couldn't do it. I almost like, oh, there's no way my body just physically was like, no, you're not doing this today, you know, kind of deal. And, uh, the recovery was just awful, like trying to recover from attempting that. And so I decided I, I'd split it up instead of doing a two hour workout I would alternate one hour workouts where I would do or uh, sorry alternate an hour and a half workout so one day do an hour and a half of cardio and then the next day do an hour and a half of strength training and that was doing okay for a little while but I still found that as far as like output goes and as far as like how hard I can actually push myself, how far I can actually push myself, only, you know, only eating carnivore, like no carb, no carbohydrates at all, maybe like literally less than five grams of carbs a day, like that's a high carb day, you know, uh, usually close to zero, and just protein and fat, even though I was getting plenty of calories, even though I'm, eat, I'm eating carnivore and I'm in that like 20, 400 2500 calorie a day area uh there's just not like that it you know that real muscular energy that you get from carbohydrates is just not there you can still do the task and still perform but you can't perform at a higher level you know and i like the carnivore diet don't get me wrong uh especially for like the everyday you know, when you're at work and stuff, you never get those highs and lows throughout the day. Your energy levels seem to stay pretty normal. The only thing is, is that even though your energy levels are level throughout the day and they don't really fluctuate, they're at a lower level throughout the day. So they never get to the, the higher highs and stuff like that that you get if you are consuming carbohydrates. So long story short, I have quit the carnivore diet uh i've been off of it for almost two weeks now and i have gone back to eating uh still eating clean but i'm eating rice and then meat mostly um so eating uh you know and i've figured my meals out to where like on certain days i eat so much food and certain days i don't and this sort of thing so my cardio days like today, uh, I'm doing all my cardio fasted still, but I can push myself so much further just by just from eating carbs the past like week and a half, almost two weeks. Even though I'm doing my cardio section, uh, my cardio workout fasted in the morning, uh, I was still able to do an hour and a half of cardio this morning. Uh, you know, normally I would just do an hour. But, uh, and I have a normal, like I've got a, a running walking protocol that I've designed my, for myself. And it, it increases the amount of running you do 
every time you do it and then decreases the amount of walking so the distance gets just a little further every time with every workout and so and your pace increases just a little bit every workout and so I was able to do that whole thing today and like not even really get winded it was just amazing I was like man I realized today how much I was missing out by not eating carbs you know by not having that fuel on board like in my muscle tissue ready to go I realized that you know carnivore diet's great and all I think it has its place and I think its place is more or less for the people that are having autoimmune problems but if you can eat a normal diet and normal food doesn't hurt you and, you know it doesn't bother you or anything uh, you're gonna probably get quite a bit better performance out of yourself physically uh, by doing that versus eating carnivore uh, so like I, I powered through that uh, one hour session of running and walking I did all it was like 4.47 miles and then after that I was able to add in another 30 minute section of I just did some additional walking just another 30 minutes of walking um, and so my ended up my total ended up being 5.95 miles and said today and so like total calories burned was like I don't know well into the 600s maybe even 700 calories during that workout and I still feel good like I could keep I could you know do another five or six miles it's just incredible what having carbohydrates in your system does for you especially when you haven't had any for four months and then all of a sudden you ramp it up and you like totally flip what you're doing and uh, you know it's just pretty wild because the last uh, especially the last four or five days I've been eating about 350 grams of carbs a day and then about 150 to or you know 150 or so grams of protein and about 80 or 90 grams of fat somewhere in there um, but yeah just doing that has been incredible you know as far as my endurance and my recovery time and everything so yeah that's pretty wild uh, for lunch today for example this meal I've got is 300 grams of rice 200 grams of chuck roast just kind of cut up strips this is chuck roast that I actually grilled and then 50 grams of like teriyaki sauce on there and so it's about 1100 calories or so and you know like 55 grams of protein about 50 grams of fat and I think 120 ish grams of carbs in that meal something like that and and then dinner is going to be pretty similar now tomorrow I'm doing a weightlifting like weight training exercise now tomorrow I will eat before I do that uh, I don't like to run with food in my stomach you know I'd rather do that fasted I uh, just feel more comfortable that way and but weight training wise uh, strength training wise I will eat of course because I'm not I'm not running I'm not jostling food around in me you know I'm not gonna make myself sick but I'm probably gonna eat an additional 300 uh, grams of rice and probably add a little bit of like real butter in there and then uh, add some honey to it and that'll be my pre-workout meal it'll be you know about 600 calories or so 650 calories something like that and and then I will eat the same thing pretty much I did today it would be steak and rice and uh, some teriyaki sauce and uh, also switching it up to not eating the same damn thing every day which is just steak 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 getting something a little different in there uh, definitely brings up the morale a little bit I uh, definitely mentally feel a little bit happier doing that so yeah I mean carnivore diet is cool uh you know i did it last year for about three months did it this year for four months uh this year i will say i lost about 17 pounds in that period of time 
I lost most of the weight within the first about two, two and a half months, and then I just kind of leveled out after that. But it was like, it was pretty good, about 17 pounds. I went from like 187 down to 170, which was great. And uh, really, my goal was to try to get a little lower than that. I'd really like to be about 150, would be nice. Lose another 20 pounds, but I don't know if I've got really. I, I could probably lose 20 pounds, but it's going to be a tough 20 pounds to lose, you know. And, uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now with uh, diet and exercise, and uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated on that. So tomorrow's workout is going to be push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, lunges, and squat and forgot the uh, squat i use uh, do the goblet squat i don't know i i just enjoy doing it uh it's it's a tough exercise it engages a lot of core and back and stuff so do that usually with a, a dumbbell anywhere from 45 to 75 pounds depending on what i feel like i feel with the extra carbs i'm getting on board i'll be able to really probably get up there to you know a 70 pound or 75 pound dumbbell I don't think I'm going to have an issue with without, you know, with my legs getting fatigued and stuff. So I may even start doing lunges with dumbbells again, you know, like a couple 25s or a couple 30s or something, do my lunges with those because I've just, I'm going to have that much more energy. You know, I'm no longer doing it with only body weight and just getting totally exhausted uh, in an hour and a half. I'm, I'm going to try to start adding some resistance some weight to it and actually build some muscle you know but anyways we will see you next time in the next video thanks for watching